So what is going on, everybody? So, as you can see by the title, you know, How Collecting Saved My Life. And I'm going to tell the story of that, and hopefully you guys can uh, receive some kind of guidance or message in this video. Um, trying to get back started on my walks again, first and foremost. Trying to get myself back in order. You know, I fell off, and because of that, over the holidays, you know, it caused some health issues to my body, especially my heart area. So, yeah. I'm just going to be focused on really on my body and I'm not going to be working anymore underneath the table. Jobs for like 20 damn dollars. So, enough about that. Um, I really want to get into the video. So, how collecting saved my life. And those that know me know that, uh, you know, I'm in music, and, you know, music never did a thing for me. Music never saved my life. You know, if anything, it added to the problems. Like, for real, like, it really added to the the problems. And it wasn't part of the solution, it was part of the problem. You know, just like YouTube, it added to the problems not part of the solution at all so how collecting really saved my life now there is a prequel story to collecting in my earlier earlier years in my child years you know that I'll get into in a prequel video but this is the sequel and I'm just really going to explain now what it is that I collect and how it's really, you know, did save, you know, my life, and it got me more so out of the streets, so how collecting saved my life, um, you know, one of the first things I started collecting in my adult years, which, you know, I'm about to be in my early 30s, I'm 28, and I remember when The Walking Dead came on. Now, they had figures out between after season one and season two, but knew, no one really caught up to them until several seasons after, and then they were hard to get a hold of because they didn't think the show was going to, you know, last, and, you know, it's been doing good minus its problems, it's still holding up as the number one show on television, and... I'm like, I want to collect some of these characters who I like. And I started off with the governor, then the Andrea figure, a Rick, a Carl, and then I ordered in a Merle, and then a Michonne figure. And from there, I'm like, okay, I got some of the figures. You know, and over time, you know, it grew like... Go on my Jazzy Entertainment channel, and you guys can see the video of my full Walking Dead collection, you know, from the figures from each series that did come out, and from some of the props that I've bought, you know, like, um, realistic size fake guns for, as the, for props for the Walking Dead collection on my dead wall, some knives, some swords, I even have a Lucille and a Michonne sword, no, the sword is real, you know, and a poster, and one thing as a collector, you know, there's so many different things that you can get into as collecting, and it, it, it one of the things is being a collector, it's what appeals to you, not to the next person, because this is stuff that's going to have value to you, not to someone else. And it is expensive to do what time's dependent on, a, you know, what it is that you're wanting to spend and wanting to collect. It really is. But, you know what? It's worth it. And as I started getting more into the show, the less I really wanted to stop roaming the streets, running the streets, and start, you know, really... 
trying to get some money, you know, trying to get some money that I could and buy the figures that came along. And throughout there, I have a different figure wall. Not, not too big, but a good size. And me trying to get back into just, you know, certain figure collecting. Um, I started collecting some of the Batman figures. Like, I think they're like 7-inch figures. They do have a articulation on them really good that I got from a comic book store. And as I got into that, I collected some Flintstones, some Men in Black figures. And then the new Dragon Ball Super figures. They kind of look like the SH figures. And throughout there, in between, I got into just collecting music from vinyls, from either online or in store at a record shop, uh cassettes that I had down in the basement and even buying some off line with a full shelf and collecting a lot of the Prince music that came out with all of albums that came out in the U.S. and a lot of the Michael Jackson albums, all of his, you know, and certain ones as well. Even a lot of my culture, funk 80s music, uh, 90s hip-hop, and the early 2000s rap hip-hop music along with music bio DVDs, you know, that you guys have seen in the Get to Know Me video. And, throughout, you know, and again, you know, yeah, there's going to be money that's going to be spent regardless if I had it or not, but as I started collecting throughout regular figures, Walking Dead, and music... I, I got so much into collecting that I felt myself not being in the streets anymore that did get me in trouble. It really did. And as I grew as a collector, not just with those stuff, but with personal items that mean something to me, whatever I still had left throughout my childhood. And I don't have a lot left. And then there were things I started, you know, gathering along the way, along with the personal collection and stuff that, you know, again, meant something to me, but may have not have meant something to the next person, and then protecting those items, like packaging them up, like, what I do to protect the items that I got since I got a basement, and simple, I just put it in some bags, and <laughs> put a lot of tape over it, and another bag over the, the stuff that's taped, and taped again, and find a good sized box to put it in, and protect the box with like a decent sized bag then tape that up and it's my stuff is has, has a good amount of personal collections down in the basement you know it protects it from moist mold water spiders anything that can corrode those items um any even throughout not just you know personal collection but as time went on, you know, I, I collected uh, some stuffed animal things. You know, it's okay for people to collect stuffed animals. Now, I, I think I still have them. Now, I remember there's two ways for me. I think they're packed down, down in the basement. That's one way I remember it. And then another way that I remember it is I think my mother gave them to somebody that was having a baby. So I remember it two different ways. I don't know why that is, but that's just how I remember it, and and again, you know, that's just how personally I remember that, and from there, um, you know, as time went by, were as of where I'm at now. Is with the figure collection. With the Walking Dead collection. That's really it for the 5 inch figures. There's not going to be any much more. Um, with just regular figures. Honestly. I'm looking into getting. Some of the new. Animated Batman series figures. That have been out for several years. Like. 
the Batman Adventures Batman, the Nightwing, and the Batmobile, and then a Goku black figure, you know, to hang up, you know, on my wall. From there, when it comes to stuffed animal type things, you know, uh, it, it's, again, it's what appeals to the eye, and I just haven't collected any for such a long time. And personally, I don't think I'm going to. So, you know, that didn't last long. Um, with uh, music, with collecting music, that's about as collected as it's going to get. And it's a full shelf full, as you guys have seen. Because it's about, you know, again, what appeals to me, the artists that I listen to, the artists that, uh, I personally enjoy and artists that I liked and it goes into the people that I'm going to collect on, you know, different formats or the formats that they're out on. Um, from there, one thing I found myself collecting now is cables and I, I don't know why I just always collected cables for different electronic things and get them for a cheap price you know five maybe like a dollar you know a dollar per item and like for example like when i have extra money i usually go to what we have in the mall called a give me five and it's used items and it's like a dig and you pay like five dollars for each item and sometimes they have dollar day and things like that and again since I do music I find a lot of cables that you know I'm gonna need for different things when I choose to go back in to recording if I do choose again I got all my stuff I'm not gonna get rid of it I mean that cost me money duh. but I found myself you know really collecting those and what I also collect now is you know movies I'm a huge movie collector um, you know, it's something that I enjoy doing. And throughout the years that have passed, it kept me out of the streets. It really did. And, you know, that's just how collecting really, you know, saved my life. Like, getting into it, it's a great thing. And being, I recommend people getting into collecting, you know, collect what it is that you like. It doesn't matter what it is. Yes, it's going to cost some money here and there, but you know what? It's really better than spending and wasting money on gambling, liquor, drugs, smoking your life away, or buying guns, you know. And it's all about what appeals to you and what you like and what it is that's going to have value to you and not to the next person. And, you know, later on with, you know, my outside collection, you know, I'll get up some bins and pack those up because pretty soon or later, you know, I'm going to be looking for a place. And I want to keep all everything down in the basement as I'm looking for a place to make sure everything's protected because I want to fight and keep what it is that I have. And... Where I'm at now, even again, I know some question that people may have, do you collect video games? Well, I'm not a big gamer, like it may seem that you guys see on my Jazzy Entertainment channel. But when it comes just to collecting games, uh, I had a lot of PS1 games. And, again, that's going to go into a prequel collection story but the ones that I do have that are left are packed away safe and sound downstairs um uh, what else from there I have all my Sega games those are packed away um I had a lot of PS2 games a lot of them I just didn't play a lot of them I sold like 30 bucks off it and I did keep a decent amount, like, see, GTA, San Andreas, Vice City, 
Um, Scarface, the Pirates of the Caribbean games, a 50 Cent game. You know, that's really about it. And a couple of the Dragon Ball Z games. Um, for like 360 games. Um, I still have all my 360 games. I didn't have very many of them, but I had quite a few, like 15-ish, I do believe, of games for that system. And, you know, there were games that I personally enjoyed, and they are some good ones. And, you know, I have those protected as well. Um... I don't have that very many PS4 games. Again, I'm not a huge gamer, but these are games, you know, that I like. You know, I even bought a few of them again for older systems that I do have out. Like, I got a PS2. I bought another PS2. These other one I have, I ended up selling like a dumbass. And along with three PS1s and like a ton of bootleg controllers that are now worth money. But, you know, that's, again, going to be in the prequel collection story. Um, so the ones I just bought, you know, like, a while, not I want to say a while ago, maybe like sometime last year, was Vice City, San Andreas, um, Star Wars, Yu Yu Hakusho, and then some for the PS, some PS1 games I can play on the PS2. Batman Beyond, Gundam, Scooby-Doo, and some Tomb Raider games. So, I guess in a way, you know, I am a game collector, just, I'm just not a huge gamer like that. And, you know, it's something that I recommend people doing, you know, collecting is a good thing. You know, it's better than wasting your money on liquor, drugs, smoking, um, gambling, or buying guns, you know, it's better than those and again it's all about what about you know appeals to you the collector and whatever it is that you like so you know collecting really did save me because it got me out of a lot of trouble and if it really wasn't for you know, collecting, I probably would be dead by now. So, you know, th that's just a story on how, you know, again, you know, the things that I collect and also how collecting played an important role in my life. And I'm out.